NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. We had a pretty nice day today, but I know we might need to watch for some storms definitely this gonna, week. Definitely, especially over New York, but I think the wettest day of the week is going to be Tuesday. We did see that warmth and uh, even a little bit more humidity today. Beautiful shot also from Alice Kang here on the uh, Sunset Ledge Trail. Look at our team sending these photos uh, in. I know. Our very own Alice Kang was uh, in Lincoln, Vermont this evening, sent that picture of a pretty nice sunset there. Great end to the day after uh, we hit 90 degrees here in Burlington. That was the high temperature today, the 13th one of the year so far. The average is only about eight days for the entire year. So uh, certainly you've seen a little bit more heat and humidity this summer than is usual. But nevertheless, uh, it's still pretty nice out right now, especially 77 right now in Burlington, 77 Middlebury, 75 in Montpelier, and a nice 65 there in Saranac Lake, where we've had a little bit of rain this afternoon. There is still a few showers sitting over St. Lawrence County, making their way into uh, Franklin County, but those should largely diminish over Night. I think we'll see a few more downpours in New York. Otherwise, we're mostly dry, but you can see quite a bit more activity off to the west associated with a very slow moving low pressure system. So that's going to slowly pivot in our direction over the next few days, increasing our rain chances. I think the highest rain threat tomorrow is going to be over New York State. More widespread storms for everybody on Tuesday. Lots of downpours, not expecting any severe weather. And then we may have a few showers early Wednesday morning. We will dry out by later in the afternoon. So you can see not much going on tonight other than a few downpours in New York State. Otherwise, we're mostly cloudy and dry on the muggy side. Tomorrow morning could start off with a little bit of sun over northern areas, but I think the clouds quickly take over. But a good chunk of tomorrow is dry for most of Vermont. I think northern New York is really where we're going to have to watch for those developing showers and thunderstorms. Could become more widespread by the evening hours, and that's when some of those could slowly start to move into Vermont, especially overnight Monday into Tuesday as that low pressure system crawls farther to the east. Now, Tuesday could actually be a pretty active day across the entire region. We'll start off with a little bit of sun Tuesday morning, but I think widespread showers, downpours, and maybe even some rumbles of thunder develop in the afternoon, lasting through the evening hours. So I think that's our wettest day of the week. And then Wednesday, we dry out. Now tonight, not much rain other than those downpours in northern New York. 68 the low in Burlington, 63 in Montpelier, 61 in Lebanon, a nice 59 there in Saranac Lake. Tomorrow we'll have uh, more sun to the north, I think at least to start the day. 82 in St. Albans, 79 in Newport, 80 in Johnson, 82 in the Queen City, a nice 80 there in Lebanon. More clouds over northern New York will keep temperatures down quite a bit. We'll mo mo largely be in the low 70s, 73 in Malone, 72 in Saranac Lake, a little bit warmer toward Lake Champlain, though we will see cooler temperatures in southern Vermont because the clouds are moving just a little bit earlier there. 76 in Springfield, 74 there in Manchester. So Tuesday, the wettest day of the week. Wednesday, showers early, giving way to some clearing. Thursday's the driest day of the week, and then Friday could have a few more showers, cooling things off for the start of next weekend when the Champlain Valley Fair is in full swing. Highs in the 70s with a lot of sunshine next Saturday. Liz?